those guys probably like my whole career, but I mean, this, this is this is my job. This is where I'm at, and this is what I'm focused on. So, uh, this wasn't a, a come out, you know. Hey, how you guys doing? Laughing up? No, I had a job and I had a mindset of what I came to really do. Though. And Montrez, anything stand out about your new teammates uh, that you play with tonight? Uh, whether it was Shooter or Wesley Matthews, THC, Kuz, what have you thought of this mix of guys? These guys are exactly who I thought they were, man. I've been in practice with them all week long um, as far as, you know, seeing how these guys work individually. And then uh, we was able to get after it um, as a group last Sunday, and we've been building ever since, man. Um, we hit the ground running, and, you know, I think we got a very special group to do something special here, and we're just going to continue to keep going one day, uh, one step at a time. Dan? Hey, Trez, uh, Dan Wanky. Um, you're used to seeing this crowd, uh, you know, this building filled. You're a guy who plays off of that and feeds off of that. What was it like being there with, you know, just the soundtrack? Uh, I didn't pay, I didn't pay it any money, just like we didn't pay it any money in the bubble. Uh, like I said, we got a job to do, and uh, you know our mindset isn't really focused on you know the arena or the uh, circumstance that we have to play in. Um, we're locked in on uh, the goal that's at hand, and tonight was to come here to get a win. Uh, in our first preseason, in our first preseason game, and that's what we did. Um, we were shorthanded with guys, but we didn't make any excuses. Um, we played with who we had, and I think every guy um, you know played the right way tonight. We left it all on the line. Um, as far as the circumstances and conditions that we had to play in. It didn't bother us because, you know, we know that this is going to be a season of, you know, the the unpredicted. You know, it's, it's never – we don't know what's going to go on in this season. We're going to have guys in at some point. We're going to have guys out at some point, man. We're playing in a pandemic right now, so we just got to make do with what we got. And I think that's what we came in with the mindset and the focus on, you know, what our job was tonight and we executed our game plan. Hey, Chess. Um I know you were talking about getting sort of some of the niceties of talking to Boo and Pat out of the way before the game. But during the game, what is it sort of like to experience Pat as a competitor and a guy who is rooting against you and cheering when you when you miss numbers and stuff like that? It doesn't phase me, man. He's the same Pat that he was doing that when I would shoot and be on the other team with Lou and miss jump shots or miss a layup or something like that, man. That doesn't phase me, man. This is basketball, man. Guys are going to be, you know, if we wasn't in a pandemic right now and we was playing and it was a late, it was a Clippers home game, you know, the fans would be yelling at me and it wouldn't, it wouldn't be no different, man. So I'm not worried about what Pat is doing on the sideline. You know, everything he's doing on the sideline is the reason that he's over there. He's, he's not in the game doing any of that, man. So it's not anything different of who I knew or what I knew Pat brought to the table, but it doesn't fade me, man. I, I'm, I'm a basketball player. I'm a player just like these guys are out here, man. Like I said, I came in with a mindset of, you know, what our team goal was and, you know, when I executed our game plan. Good breakdown, Rob. I want to talk Dennis Schroeder. Uh, James, this was a big one coming over uh, from OKC in the trade. And obviously the loss of Rondo is, is, is big, but the Lakers did get younger. And, man, he's able to push that pace. And when you have a change of pace guy like him, you can see him get into the rack. He can score. Uh, he's going to add a lot to this basketball team. Yeah, I, I think the only thing he's lacking that, that Rondo brought to the table is experience. Uh, you know, we, we, we saw Schroeder in Atlanta. Not really matured yet, but over time, he really started to understand what his role could be in the NBA, Peter. He does it all. He can score. There's a three-pointer. We just saw a layup. We know he can distribute the basketball when necessary, hit those little floaters. He's going to be a major threat because not only can he play the point guard, but he can score from that position, and he also pretty impressive on the defensive end. Yeah, he's a, he's a he's phenomenal. The thing about him is he's so smart, he's so fast, and he can shoot threes better than Rondo. So we have that aspect of the game that we're going to love because he had one there where he, he I think it was when the bigs had him on, lulled him, lulled him to sleep and went around the top four three. The big, Rondo wasn't good at the that. The most intriguing thing for me looking ahead, how he plays with AD and Braun, how he plays off the ball because he's a guy who likes to have it and attack. He can take pressure off LeBron, but how does he – react when he's off the ball. It's going to be awesome to see. Yeah, I mean, when you play with LeBron James, you adapt to yeah. what happens. <laughs> right. so I don't think it's going to be a problem at all for him. Smart all right, THT went uh, for 19 and 9 with 6 for 6 from the free throw line, which is nice to see. We like when we make our free throws. More post-game reaction when we come back. Two, 235. He how to do Access Sportsnet Lakers is brought to you in part by Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. The newest, friendliest, and safest casino resort, Morongo. Playing it safe. Good times.
The only thing harder than understanding health insurance is understanding health insurance in another language. But ahora es mucho más fácil. Covered California offers free expert assistance in multiple languages and financial help for people who need it. Enroll now at CoveredCA.com. Carl's camp, moment of the game. It's Montrez Harrell seeing that ball go off of Baca's head. And he takes it for the dunk, Rob. Hey, pay attention at all times, Baca. Lou Will's so used to doing that play with Montrez. He's not paying attention. He gets the easiest bucket of the night. Give me this steal. Let me go down and dunk on you. This is what I do to my old team's clips. Take that. <laughs> Time for Bresnan's three-point play with Laker insider Mike Bresnan. Was that was that was that a new intro right there, Bresnan? I think it was. You know, Director Manny really putting something together for us. It looks really great. Did. Appreciate it. Well, when you're a champion, that's that, that's what happens, Bres. Uh, <laughs> you were taking budget. a look at the uh, the new guys tonight. What'd you think? Yeah, we just saw a nice little highlight of uh, one of them, Montrez Harrell. Like his game, very active. Uh, Ten rebounds alone in that first half. Almost had the double double. And uh, you know what? He was working on something different tonight. Uh, he took a lot of shots outside. Five shots from mid-range. Made only one, but I like how he's trying to expand his game. And, of course, uh, we got to talk about Schroeder, too. I mean, I like how he made both his threes. That'll be very important. He's got a hit from outside. Six turnovers, a little high in that department. That's kind of been, been an Achilles heel for him over the years. All in all, though, it looked like he picked up the offense pretty seamlessly. Brez, when I think of young guys, I don't think of coups anymore. <laughs> right. I mean, Lonzo and B.I., they're all gone. I think a THT, uh, what, what role might he play this season? Yeah, THT, you guys have talked about him a lot. I mean, this is a guy that the Lakers paid Orlando a little over $2 million for in the draft last year. Got the rights to that 46th spot and uh, really impressed by his game. Two words, not shy. Very happy to uh, put that ball up and uh, see what happened with it. Um, they got what they wanted from him defensively, too. I, I know, Rob, you said earlier, stats don't tell the entire picture, but 
He had three steals. That's a big seven foot one wingspan that you guys are talking about. So, so far, so good for THT. And Kuz, can't forget him. He is still a young guy. Uh, shot a lot, didn't make a lot, but he had five assists. Uh, he really has expanded his game since his rookie season. Yeah, what I like is that he struggled early defensively, and as Frank Vogel pointed out, he improved yeah, as the no game doubt. went on. Uh, when will we see uh, LeBron and AD in the preseason, <laughs> Brez? Do you think at all? Uh, great question. I mean, they have to get in there at some point. Uh, got another preseason game on Sunday, also against the Clips. I'm going to guess they sit that one out with ha without having uh, any inside intel. And then next Wednesday and next Friday, they will play the Phoenix Suns. I'm going to guess they get into one of those games for about one half. You know, maybe like uh, 14 minutes, something to that effect. Uh, just kind of get a little bit of the, uh, the blood flowing. Uh, they were not missed out there tonight. Uh, the Lakers beat the Clips, and the Clips played just.